flanked it straight away and look who's back on pole Cormac Buchanan on the backup bike so uh, we've got it all to play for here Rogan Charles has been quick all day today he'll be loving this uh, the prospect with a 15 lapper here we go Timbery Yamaha Super Sport 600 Cormac Buchanan on pole Rogan Charles good start from Cormac good start from Rogan Jesse Stroud another great start of that uh, second row but Luca Dooney will hang on to third place then we've got Le Seth Devereaux he's been getting better and better every session as he uh, gets into about uh, fifth or sixth place joined again by uh, head mechanic and that Blue Crew Yamaha team Smokey and Smokes uh, a miraculous uh, job by the team the champ is back out Cormac Buchanan uh, back on track yeah a bit of a quick uh, tyre swap bit of a suspension change and he's out there on the uh, the spare bike Brad so it'll be interesting to see what he can do oh, I think this is going to be good Rogan Chandler will uh, have smelt and blood in the water here He'll know that's not uh, Cormac Buchanan's preferred bike, so he'll know uh, he's here, ready to go. Rogan Chandler was really quick here this morning, and uh, this is going to be exciting. So out of McKissick uh, Curve here, we've got uh, Cormac Buchanan still leads. Rogan Chandler there, and then we go back. Uh, we've got uh, a good update as Luca Dooning in third place. Morgan McLaren Woods charge into fourth place ahead of Jesse Stroud, so that's uh, some more great battling they're going to do here all race long and uh, Smokey man we've had some good excitement here but uh, this one's going to be pretty good I reckon 15 laps of this can't wait looks like Rogan's in the lead already Brad Cormac second Luca third Jesse Stroud Morgan McLaren with Seth Devereaux and our American Australian friend from the Addicted to Track Racing team alright Rogan Chandler we thought how good he was going to go here he just knows that uh, this is not Cormac Buchanan's uh, preferred bike this is the uh, backup bike the uh, testing bike so Rogan Chandler is this what uh, he needs the confidence boost smoker that he needs to try and run away with his first victory of the season perhaps yeah it's definitely looking like it brad it's probably what 30 bike lengths off the first lap so yeah it's gonna be uh it's a long race we'll see what cormac can do in the uh next few laps eh? oh this is gonna be a long race as rogan chan has a big moment out of turn six and into the mckissick curve so he's fired up he knows he needs to get a good little break on the field and then manage it from there so rogan chandler decent buffer back to cormac buchanan who's actually getting a little bit of pressure pulled on him luca dooning he might be another competitor that's uh, really uh, fired up ready to go looking at cormac buchanan on that backup bike smoky yeah they're all uh getting them behind them there aren't they There's sort of three bikes and seth and our american australian friend there so yeah rogan's definitely pushing out front but um yeah like i said we'll see Still oh, got a few laps to go Brad. this is gonna be good timbery yamaha supported super sport 600 we've had some uh, excitement the north island was absolutely breathtaking when cormac and rogan went at it for a big eight lapper in the rain at manfield and uh, ended up finishing within seven one thousandths of a second of each other you knew the summer was going to be good and it has delivered big time rogan charter leads cormac buchanan cormac's just uh, broken the challenge of the rest of the field because uh, about uh, half a lap ago luca dooning and the rest of the competitors were piling on a bit of pressure but uh, uh, the two-time uh, uh, defending 300 champion and the former uh, current 600 champion uh, he just keeps on keeping on there Smokey and uh, Corn Buchanan uh, just uh, responding when he needed to. Yes yeah, certainly Brad he's uh, definitely closing up on the back of Rogan I can't really see the gap at the moment until we go into the here, here we go here well it's, yeah, it's definitely closed down he's got a bit of a gap back to Luca in third there Jesse's still in fourth Morgan in fifth Seth and our Australian American friend Declan. All right, so Rogan Chandler had a 1.1 1 .1 second advantage last time around, but Cormac Buchanan looks a lot closer now, so let's have a look. They're both in the 104s, and a 104.4 for Cormac Buchanan, so that is a tenth, or not even a tenth, so half, uh, five 100s per second off lap record pace, Smokey on the back up by Cormac Buchanan's not going down without a fight. We are well and truly on here. This is going to be good. You can see it out the window, Smokes. Nothing in it at the front. This is going to be good. Not bad for a stop bike there, Brad, so uh, yeah. How many laps have we got to go? It's going to be uh, all Yeah, we've got a massive uh, 12 laps. So this is a feature length race, a big 15 lapper. So, uh, oh, look at it. It is tightening up at the front. Those two into the McKissick curve. And then you've got a good little battle for the podium. Luca Durning, uh, Jesse Stroud, Morgan McLaren Wood. They are there. Uh, Seth Everett ahead of uh, Declan Van Rossmullen. Uh, eighth place will be for Jacob Pearce on the Trevor Pearce Yamaha supported uh, machine. You go back to Garth Wilson there in ninth ahead of uh, Paul Jenkins, uh, who's uh, rounding at our top ten. Good showing from Paul coming down from the North Island. Loves his racing and getting better and better. He took four seconds off his best time he'd ever gone around Rural Puna at last weekend so a uh, good uh, showing and some hard work going in and he's getting rewarded with a top 10 at the moment but look at that at the front Smokey absolutely nothing in it let's have a look at these lap times uh, lap records are in trouble here uh, uh, 109 uh, uh, 104079 that's uh, the fastest from Corn Buchanan so far and he just does a 1041 so he is fired up Smokey this is going to be breathtaking very very shortly I'd say he's got the uh, the red mist showing Brad and yeah look at the drive he's got he's uh, well it's that 10 bike me so yep 
It's all on for young and old. He was six tenths quicker than uh, Rogan on that lap around, so Rogan Chandler is in a little bit of strife here. This is going to start heating up, but uh, it's one thing to be uh, as fast or faster than someone smoking, but Levels International Raceway, not an easy place to make a pass, especially with Rogan in the 104s. This is going to be uh, something uh, Cormac's going to have to really uh, find something special. It's almost a one one lane track around here, but yeah, there is a few opportunities to pass, but you've really got to be uh, very brave. All right, uh, there's no question about the talent at the front. Rogan Chana leads Cormac Buchanan. They've just streaked away from the rest of the competitors. Uh, both of them have been in the 104s for several laps in a row now. Rogan Chandler will be absolutely loving this. He was the one with the bike problems yesterday. He's fixed those overnight and come out fired up. Cormac Buchanan on the backup bike. He's got the uh, uh, bit between the teeth. So 10 laps to go now. We've had five. We're excited about the prospects of this one. We've got Luca Durning still there in third place with uh, Jesse Stroud and Morgan McLaren Wood. And uh, we touched on that uh, in the earlier moto today, how good it is to see the youngsters in 600 super sports smoky that podium battle that's red hot oh definitely brad all those guys are sort of whippersnappers so uh yeah very very good to watch good for the sport too and the fastest on uh, the the podium battle was actually Declan Van Rossmullen on that addicted to track race team. So he was about four tenths quicker than any one of those three ahead of him. And he's now knocking on the door there. Could he be looking at uh, potentially his first Super Sport 600 podium? What a, a bit of excitement building here for our overseas visitor there, Smokey. He's definitely riding pretty well, considering his uh, first time at the track this weekend. So yeah, good to see. Oh man, at the front there is now nothing in it. There was less than half a second when they crossed the line. I think uh, Cormac's reeled in another couple of tenths on this one here. So Rogan Chandler, Cormac Buchanan, they have had uh, some breathtaking moments so far this summer. We're on here. When we cross the line, we're going to have nine laps to go. We're not even halfway through it and there is nothing in it. As we go, Rogan Chandler ahead of Cormac Buchanan. Here is now a four-way fight to the podium. We've got uh, the excitement for Luca Durning, Jesse Stroud and Morgan McLaren. Would Declan Van Rossman again a little bit quicker than those others around him. So he's now in real podium contention and then just uh, down the road a little further there we've got Seth Devereaux getting better and better as the weekend unfolds so uh, still plenty of uh, uh, excitement to talk about here Smokey out to Marie Yamaha Super Sport 600 is far from done here with the eight and a half laps to go it's definitely a bit of a freight train going on for that third third place Brad so uh, yeah it's definitely going to be interesting the last eight laps have we got nine laps yeah eight and a half we're on uh, the uh, sixth lap at the moment so oh, whoa, whoa. Lucas had a look. Had a, there Lucas is, had a slight problem there yeah Lucas had a big moment uh, coming out of John Jones so we've got some uh, bit of drama to have a look at here because uh, that's uh, now Morgan McLaren Wood looks to be the one that's gone up into third place we've got Jesse Stroud there and then Declan Van Rossman Seth Devereaux there so you definite drama for the dentist uh, v, V2 Panagali that is nowhere near the race pace we've expected from Luca Durning so uh, big bits of drama here Rogan Chandler though keeps ticking them off Smokey uh, Cormac's uh, just got no real answer at the moment yeah, Cormac, I think Cormac's just stalking him Brad to be honest he might just be getting used to this new bike and uh, yeah I think it's gonna be on for young and old come these uh, last few laps good drive there from both of them sort of six bike lengths now Cormac is in the draft this is going to be good. Still a massive uh, seven and a half laps to go. Cormac Buchanan has a look up the inside. What a good move from the talented young man. The defending champion has pulled the trigger midway through the final race of the weekend. So Cormac Buchanan now back into the lead of this one here. Yeah, Luca Durning's pulled in there, Smokey. So uh, not what the doctor ordered there. And uh, that is devastation for that uh, dentist race team. Yeah, I wonder what's going on there, Brad. He was uh, he was going really well there. He was def definitely on for the, uh, yeah, for a third for the overall for the weekend so be interesting to see what's happened there all right our race leaders out of turn nine and in towards the bus stop here can rogan chandler answer back cormac buchanan halfway through this race has pulled the trigger can he run away with it or can rogan stay with him this is going to be an exciting uh, seven laps remaining then the excitement now building luca durning he's had back-to-back -back trips to the podium one of these guys is ready to rock and roll to put their name on the podium here at levels international raceway morgan mclaren would narrowly over uh, declan van rossmullen then go back to gc stroud so uh, look at declan uh, he's fired up uh, up into the top four piling on a bit of pressure this is excitement for the addicted to track team there smokey for sure here he is brad up in the fourth place he's got the uh got the draft on morgan there so it's going to be interesting even seth sort of you know nipping at their heels if anyone makes a mistake or morgan up the inside 
It's a brave move off the back straight. That is a really good move. He come from a wee way back and he's just dived in there. So Declan Van Rossmullen, this is excitement to the max. He's been uh, really pushing hard all summer long and uh, building really nicely. This is uh, knocking on the door of a little bit of history for that delightful young man. He is in now, but uh, third place, looking for his first Supersport 600 podium of the Kiwi summer. Right now into the bus stop, a race leader, Cormac Buchanan. Can Rogan find something? He's right on the back where we are not done for yet. Six laps remaining in the Timaru Yamaha Supersport 600 thriller for the weekend. The 15 lap feature race. And look at Declan Man Rossmullen. He's in third place and streaking away. Smokey, he's got about 10 bike lengths on them as he starts the uh, back end of this race. That is definitely impressive, Brad. First time in the track and he's, uh, well, looking like putting it on the podium. So, yeah, big ups to our friend from Australia. All right, so it is Cormac Buchanan, Rogan Chandler, Declan Van Rossmull, and that is your top three. Morgan McLaren Ridge right there. There's only uh, 0.5 of a second between him and uh, his podium uh, glory. So he'll be looking out to do that. Jesse Stroud, uh, he's in the top five but there. Uh, Seth Devereaux right there as well. He's only uh, 0.8 of a second off Jesse Stroud in uh, fifth place. So yeah, I wouldn't rule out Seth Devereaux here. He's uh, lapping in those 105s consistently as well. So anything can happen. We've still got a massive five and a half laps with Rogan Chandler diving up the inside. Can he make it stick? That is a bold move into the the heaven smoky and right when you think Cormac Buchanan is back in charge Rogan Chandler responds now we've got a bit of a uh, thriller here they're gonna have five laps to go Smokey and Rogan Chandler just uh, fights back this is a unbelievable race Brad this is gonna go down to the wire I can tell you that right now oh there is absolutely nothing in it at the front good work from those two they put on a real show they're still lapping in the 104 so uh, just a little bit on lap record pace so uh, this just goes to show how hot this is can Cormac Buchanan get out of that uh, final uh, drive onto the back straight there. Good line from Rogan Chandler. Just goes across, but Corn Buchanan's going to have a little look up the inside. Yep, He's go, got Brent. really good drive, and he breaks hard into the John Jones steer. What a move. And the champ responds straight back. Rogan Chandler's got to be wondering, Smokey, what do I do to uh, disrupt this young man? This is going to be a brilliant four and a half laps. We're on here. Cormac has got a never-say-die attitude, and that's coming to the fore in this race for sure. Unbelievable. Can Rogan have a look into the hip? And he's really, really strong in this part of the race. He pulls up along around the outside, gets a good drive out of there. Not going to be quite close enough to ever turn it to turn nine. So it is still with the defending champ, Cormac Buchanan. He's won race one here on Saturday. He won race this morning. Rogan Chandler's going to be desperate to try and upset it. Four laps now to go. Cormac Buchanan and Rogan Chandler inseparable at the front. We're looking at the, the battle for the podium. And Declan Van Rossmullen has got uh, the biggest buffer anyone's had in that podium fight there. So uh, well and truly advantage deck in there uh, Smokey he's got it in the palm of his hand really with uh, four laps to go he's riding really good Brad isn't he That's, yeah there's a bit of a gap to uh, Morgan in fourth a little bit of a gap back to Jesse and Seth still nipping at their heels there so yeah it's all to play for these last couple of laps Oh, is it what? Rogan Chana, where is he going to be stronger? He knows he loves this, but he loves the, the mid-corners at uh, Rankley Motorcycles, uh, Top Cat Roofing, Suzuki New Zealand Machine, really good in these mid-speed corners, so loves the McKissick curve, loves the run into the hip, and is he going to be close enough to have a little look at Cormac Buchanan? There is just nothing in it. Cormac's got the advantage out of there, and uh, he'll take a defensive line into that hip, and, but you can just see, Smokey, how uh, good Rogan is in these tight little corners here. Uh, we're going to be on here, so what, three and a bit laps to go. This is going to be good. I've definitely got Rogan's bike set up very well in the suspension area. Um, yeah, all on, all on. As they come over the start finish line, oh, Rogan's having a little look, but no, Cormac goes to the inside. Yeah, Rogan, uh, just uh, having a look, and maybe he's just uh, saving it for that last couple of laps. He's really, really strong in some areas, but Cormac Cannon. It's just well, sunk on the gone up the inside there, Brad, off the sweeper. Turn three, so uh, Cormac Buchanan misses his apex, goes really deep. Rogan Chandler tucks in underneath, but Cormac Buchanan's not going to go down without a fight. He's going to answer straight back side by side as they break into the John Jones steel left-handed. No, it is going to be Rogan Chandler that hangs on to it. Two and a half laps remaining. The crowd's on their feet. This is going to be brilliant. Timur Yamaha, Supersport 600 and Smokey. Oh, this could go either way. It's flip of a coin stuff, really, isn't it? Yes, yeah, certainly is, Brad. It's uh, what two laps to go, and we've got a. Uh, you couldn't throw, as you said yesterday, between you two, couldn't throw a tea towel over these guys at the moment.
Oh, look at this into the hairpin. So Rogan Chana goes defensive in there. Corbin Buchanan uh, just goes in behind. So uh, still with the advantage for Rogie. This is going to feel pretty good. Loves his uh, trip to the South Island. A much better frame of mind he was in at Ruapuna and here this morning. So Rogan Chandler ticks off for another lap. He is now in the driver's seat with two laps to go. Corbin Buchanan, no real way through there in turn one and two. So it's going to be that uh, streak down the back straight. You'd have to think, Smokey, that's where Cormac's so good. Is he looking for a move uh, out of turn three and down that back straight, maybe? I'd say he's going to try get the drive off the uh, sweeper here Brad get in behind uh, Brogan and get the draft and try get up yep, here we go here we go all right side by side can Rogan just break that a little bit later I think he can and uh, he is just going to hang on by the seat of his pants we have got some kind of race in here we have got the white flag ready and waiting half a lap before we get that though so plenty of time to get excited Declan Van Rossman I think this is one of the most impressive performances of the summer so far this is really impressive he's got that third place zone up almost he's broken the challenge of Morgan McLaren Wood and Jesse Stroud so go Declan Van Rossman this should be more excitement for addicted to track racing as we're getting down to the nitty gritty you got Rogan Charnel he's uh, Cormac Buchanan Smokey where is the champ going to find it is he saving it for that back straight you think or what's going to happen well yeah I, I think so if he can get a decent drive off oh Jesus we can uh, yeah if we can get some good drive off the sweeper here Rogan Cormac is right on him last White lap Brad flag. last lap one lap to go so uh, Rogan Charnel Cormac Buchanan this is where Cormac is really, really strong. Really good drive out on that back straight. Rogan Chandler gets pretty good drive as well, so it's going to be the slipstream, the toe. Can Cormac find it? Can Rogan hang on? Half a lap to remember here for sure. Here. here we go, Brad. Here, here we, we go. go. Cormac Buchanan breaking hard. They're backing here it we into go. the John Jones steal, and he's got it done. Cormac Buchanan, what a move. He is now on the final lap. How many times has a kid done it this year? This teenage sensation has lit up the fans here at Levels International Raceway. He leads into the McKissick curve. Rogan Chana's got one more fight left in his uh, arsenal here. Is he going to be close enough to have a big dive into the hip? And he's surely going to have a little look. He's going to go around the outside of Cormac Buchanan. They're side by side and they're running to turn nine. But Cormac's got the good drive out of there. Has Cormac done enough out of turn nine and down to the pit lane straight? Cormac Buchanan may oh, have just so, stolen Brent. another one. Here we go. Into the bus stop. Cormac Buchanan, what a show. What, what a, a performance. An absolute moment. He's on the grass. Oh, he had a big moment. Just hit the curb on the exit of the bus stop. Full had commitment. to go on the grass. Full, full commitment there. Full, commi full commitment there, Brad. That's definitely brung up his uh, Speedway background, hasn't it? My goodness. That is mir miraculous stuff. As Cormac Buchanan, what a win. Oh, breathtaking, Smokey. That's absolutely brilliant from that young man. That's just, yeah, that just goes to show his determination, doesn't it, Brad? Be very close. Wow, that is that is close. That is brilliant. Cormac Buchanan on the backup bike and uh, 15 laps of absolute brilliance from the young man. Unfortunate for Rogan Chandler. He absolutely gave it everything in some really good pace. But uh, it is going to be Cormac Buchanan who wins three out of three here at Levels. And uh, there'll be some joy and jubilation for the uh, Alpha and Window Systems Blue Crew Yamaha team there, Smokey. Yeah, definitely. I mean, considering he uh, crashed out of that first race, not long to turn around the spare bike. And, um, yeah, Steve Lloyd... Cormac's dad, Stacey, and the other mechanic, Tony. Bloody good job in the pits. Oh, absolutely. On your feet, ladies and gentlemen. A big round of applause for these competitors. They just put on one hell of a show, and uh, it's a big congratulations. Uh, well done to Rogan Chandler. That was a good show, but uh, unfortunately for that young man, another trip to the second step of the podium. Well done to the letter V, Declan Van Rossman, and that is absolutely brilliant, and the Addicted to Track race team have been rewarded for some really hard work and dedication. But this one's going to feel pretty good. Have a look at the defending champion. Absolutely brilliant. Cormac Buchanan, take a bow, young man. Three out of three here at Levels, and uh, man, he had to work for that one, Smokey, in the grass and everything. Yeah, that was just, wow, that had it all, Brad, didn't it? Wow, we, is all I can say. Wow, we. Absolutely. Couldn't have said a better myself. Thank you very much, Smokey. Let's cross down to Neil, who will wrap up our Timaru Yamaha Super Sport 600 podium. Uh, a uh, brand new member to the podium, and uh, some more uh, breathtaking tales to be told as uh, we cross down to Neil.
first country to have uh, championship uh, road racing and absolutely unbelievable. Man, oh man. First of all, the drama because uh, right there you saw the man off the side of the track. Has he picked it up? We'll find out shortly with the result. We're taking it as if he's won it and that's the way it's gone. But I'll tell you what, uh, he had to work for that one right out on the extreme edge of that one. He went grass track and more than we've seen before. If you thought that Hamish has won last time, he got a massive cloud of dust and Hamish Simpson showed us how you can still carry on and get on a podium by going in the grass. But look at that as uh, we see uh, the incredible uh, uh, Cormac Buchanan save a big one, save it absolutely massively and in fact to do it on the backup bike with very little preparation in there that was a great story and look at that good up thank you Cormac thank you Rogan that is sportsmanship at the highest caliber and look at the support over here from the addicted to track how cool is this where's the Declan fan club hey come on Aussie 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 all right mate straight up there oh, i've been waiting for this i've been waiting for this first of all welcome to new zealand mate how was that tell us about it oh that was difficult you know i put my head down i saw some openings and i was like oh this could be the one you know i've been on the podium in a long time so this feels amazing and uh yeah I just put my 100 percent down and got done and got third i can't ask for anything any better Hey, uh, Declan, tell us about all of us uh, being behind the team and what happens. Like, everything's about Ant West. You're this, you're this other little dude in the corner. You're part of the team and obviously proud of it, but uh, you're overshadowed so much by Ant, but you've had the courage to come through. Well done. Yeah, honestly, you know, i got to say a big thanks to the team. Even though, you know, Anthony West is the greatest in the G, you know. Uh, he still helps me every time I go out. He's the first person to go out, tell me about the track, give me some pointers here and there for the race and stuff, let me know what's going on. So either way, like still, he helps me 100%. And you know, I, I appreciate the whole team, them working their butts off for me still and putting the same amount of effort they do with Anthony. So, you know, you know, big steps are huge importance. This time she, uh, she's getting me where I need to be. And uh, yeah, I'm super happy, it's amazing. Well done, well done. Hey, uh, tell us a little bit, we pick up your accent, we've heard about the American part. Uh, do you call yourself an Aussie? Uh, what's the relationship with you in Australia? Oh, geez, that's a 50-50. I still call myself Australian, but I did move when I was a kid, so I lost the accent, but being back here, it's starting to come back a little bit, so let's, <laughs> we'll keep that going and hopefully have that. Right, indeed. Uh, and tell us a little, little bit about what you've done in uh, Aussie. When did you start road racing? What are some of your achievements? We want to hear more about Declan, come on. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, I started racing about just hitting three years ago, to be honest. So, uh, yeah, my first year was in Moto America last year. So that was a learning curve. And then, yeah, coming down here, I got an opportunity to come ride Phillip Island. So I was like, oh, hell yeah. So I did that. And, you know, ever since just working at it, being with this team and being down here and being with them, like, I couldn't be any more happier. I'm, I'm just enjoying myself and I'm going to keep doing all this stuff. Well done. Where's the Declan Fan Club? Loving it. Well done. What a cool story. What a cool story. And absolutely massive out there. Rogan, Rogan, Rogan. You are getting so, 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 so close. Where is that pounce going to happen, mate? That is hard work. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I'm just happy to be there and battling. Like, you know, I don't mind coming second when I'm riding good. And, and that bike's working well. You know, it's a good testament to Suzuki. I mean, that thing's almost the same age as him and it's still up there and it's still fighting and you know Ray puts together such a good package uh, I can't fault him you know he works his ass off and my whole team John and, and Mike and, and my mum and my girlfriend and everyone just works hard so that I can be there and give him my best and uh, yeah that's what I'm doing. That is what he's doing and how well is he doing it so thank you Rogan great speech great speech love him Hamilton well done uh, on it, we, if we take the motor out do you think he could still win hey I'll tell you what no matter what you throw at this guy, all the obstacles, all the crashes, all the comebacks, we thought you were gone, you come back, you, your team frantically get another bite, you can get out there and you can still do it. Absolutely legendary. Well done, Gormick. Well, no, I can't I can't start this by saying, you know, thank you guys so much, the Yamaha team, Steve, Lloyd, Diana, Mum, Dad, Grand, uh, Graham, uh, you know, uh, Tony, you know, Robert Taylor, and all the other people, Smokey, everyone that joined in, you know, to get that bike fixed in time. Um, you know, when I saw that I crashed, you know, I just had to run to my bike, grab my transponder, and I, I apologised to the medical team because I was yelling at them to get me back fast enough so I could rejoin. But um, I also want to say uh, thanks to Liam back at New Plymouth uh, and Hayden for watching me on the CTAS live. But yeah, you know, I, when I crashed, I had no idea that I'd be able to get back out 
and to come across winning on the grass so you know I thought I was in the wall I definitely uh, need to stop trying to do motocross eh? <laughs> <laughs> an absolutely incredible ride ladies and gentlemen three awesome champions who deserve all the credit up here how amazing to see so well done for the uh, Declan supporters love it that he's uh, finally got up and launched on the uh, podium well done Rogan, he just tries and tries and tries but it's hard to beat a real champion ladies and gentlemen again Mr Cormac Buchanan uh, doing it in style well done guys gracious uh, uh, run there uh, some absolutely exceptional racing oh stay with us everybody we've got plenty of drama going on here on the track and off the track this is incredible so uh, let's keep on racing thank you Jess lovely uh, words here to uh, Rogan this is the way we want our paddock this is where we want to decide racing out on the track so uh, this is pretty darn cool and uh, I think there's going to be an opportunity here to get uh, Declan and the team up here yeah yeah loving it three years of road racing for this kid how cool is that he's just got better and better here in NZ as well and we've loved having him with us adding to the flavour into the class, a true international road racer comes to join us here, Declan Van Rosruven, and uh, he has uh, done it and done it with uh, great excellency. And there's the team, thoroughly deserve it. And well done. Come on from all the Kiwis here. What about a round of applause, eh? There are a group of uh, Aussies coming together for the love of the same sport that we love, after all. So uh, I think it's awesome. And that uh, photo uh, pick will be something unbelievable. So well done. Addicted to track racing, coming home with all. All right, here we go. We're getting ready to go for this.